Hey everybody, I'm Anna Huffmaker with Huffmaker Violins. You found another one of our students stuck at home series. Today we're going to talk about how to put on your shoulder rest. A lot of you guys are getting your instruments delivered while your parents are running by the store and renting them and you're not there to learn how to put on your shoulder rest. This is for violins and violas. It's for all sizes and we're going to talk about basically two kinds of shoulder rests. Now, some of you, in fact, maybe the majority of you guys, if you're beginners, you're gonna start with a sponge. Now, the first thing you have to do is put on a rubber band. The store may have done this for you, they may not. And what you wanna do is take the rubber band and loop it around the chin rest. That's this thing right here, the black thing. And then you're going to just circle it right around, we call this the bout, so that it's going diagonal across the instrument. This can stay on all the time. Once it's on there, you don't need to take it off. And what that's gonna do is hold your sponge. Now your sponge may be a little smaller. It may be a different color. It may be rectangular without the curve in it. But the idea is if you have something kind of poofy and soft, that's your sponge shoulder rest. To put it on, it's gonna give you really nice support on your collarbone, but to put it on the violin, the first thing I want you to do is hold your violin like a bookshelf, upside down in your left hand. Do not set this down. Don't set it on your lap, don't set it on a bookshelf, don't set it on your bed. The bridge is really fragile. Not only can you knock it out of place, but you could break the bridge, you could crack the top of the instrument. So we never ever set it down on its top. You're gonna set the sponge on top of the instrument. Now mine has a tall end and a short end. The tall end goes towards the middle of the instrument right here. If yours is rectangular, it won't matter. So, and you're just gonna slide it under the rubber band. Try not to throw it across the room. And see, it's gonna just stick right there. Now, it's not rocket science. You don't have to worry about being the exact right place because when you put your instrument up on your shoulder, it'll move around and it will go where it's supposed to go. If I look a little uncomfortable, it's because I'm a cellist. I never had to deal with such things. But you see, this is gonna make your life a lot easier. You cannot leave this on the instrument when you pack it up. This must come on and off every time you play. So, and when you put your instrument away, you wanna set it up here near the scroll. Don't try and pack it up over here somewhere. Again, you could hurt something on the instrument. Just stick it right up there. It won't hurt a thing if the case smushes the sponge a little bit, as long as it's not smushing any of the violin. <laughs> now, if you do not have a sponge, a lot of you, and even the beginners, are starting these days with what we call a real shoulder rest. Something usually, usually black, although they come in purple, pink, green. Um, these are called Everests. We love the Everest, but you could have a different name brand. There's a ton of different name brands. And when you put it on, same thing. You're gonna let your instrument kind of float, hold it like a bookshelf in your left hand. And this would be the only time in the history of mankind you ever heard me say the words, frown, don't smile. And that is because when you put this on, I want your shoulder rest to frown at you. If it's smiling at you, you see the curve? If it's smiling at you, that's gonna be wrong. Now you'll go to put it on and it will feel really weird. But better to just start from the beginning, setting it up to frown at you. And you just hook the feet against the side like that and use your right hand and just slide the other foot up the other side. It should be on there fairly tight because you don't want, when you're turning pages and marking in your music, you don't want this to fly off. When you take it off, slide it down. This is brand new, it's a little stiff. Do not please pop it on and off the edges like this. You could tear up the edges of your instrument. So again, we're just gonna hook it over the end, the edge, and slot up the other edge. Some of them will pivot a little bit. Not rocket science. Put it on if it feels a little weird, adjust it a little bit. For some of you, you might want it at an angle. Some of you might want it straight across. You'll figure it out. Every day when you play, it'll get a little bit more comfortable. And again, you cannot put your violin away or your viola with this still on it. I mean, it seems like it's kind of obvious, but if I stick that in there and try and close the lid, we can see that bad things are gonna happen. So, slide it off. 
And if your case has an outside pocket, that's usually kind of the best for these. But if, it, if you need to put it inside, if it will fit, never ever force it. Some of them like this one, the feet lay down and you have to find a place where the case will close comfortably. If it does that, that doesn't fit well. That means I have to push down. We don't want to do any push down. Also, last but not least, put your cloth here before you put your shoulder rest in so that it protects the scroll. You don't want anything to scratch. This one, I could play around with it. I might find a place for it to fit, but I think I'm just gonna put it in the pocket on the outside. I hope that helps you with your shoulder rests, and I hope you're really excited about starting the school year and all your digital learning. If you have any questions, you can call or email me, Anna Huthmaker at huthmakerviolins.com. Now go practice.